Good evening. Welcome to Living Arts. I'm your host, Jackie Suarez. Thank you for tuning in. I have a terrific artist with us tonight. Her name is Lana Yu. Um, she's involved in a community-based project right here in Peekskill, so she's going to tell us all about it. Lana, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here, Jackie. I've been looking forward to this. You know, um, everything has been kind of buzzing around this project, so I guess um, why don't we first uh, let our audience know a little bit about you. Okay. Um, so tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, well, thank you, Jackie. Um, I have a background in design. I was an art director and creative director for 20 years, mm -hmm. um, working in media, designing games for kids, uh, websites for big brands, um, doing some print. Mm -hmm. um, and now my focus is, is on art, um, which is what brought me to Peekskill okay. and um, inspired me to start working um, in a community direction, which spurred this project forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the project yeah. that we're talking about is What Matters. So what is What Matters? Well, What Matters is an ongoing interactive public art project that engages folks to take a moment mm -hmm. out of their busy day and simply contemplate um, the larger view of life okay. and ask themselves, well, what does matter? Mm -hmm. um, so we've created um, these live interactive events in 15 locations throughout the city of Peekskill mm -hmm. in the last year and a half. Um, where We've had tables set up and pens and people would sit and they would write the words. Um, and then sometimes they would post the words and they could see what other people had written. Mm -hmm. They could share their words with others who would come and read them. Okay. Um, so that's the ongoing interactive part of the project. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to reach out to people um, of all backgrounds and all ages. So it's mm -hmm. youth, it's seniors, it's professionals, it's students, it's families, mm -hmm. it's day laborers. Um, it's people from every background and culture. And the idea is really to give everyday people mm -hmm. an opportunity for self-expression. Okay. So you don't have to be an artist. It's really for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's another component of the project, which is the public art piece, which is going to be a mural that is erected in the heart of Peekskill, mm -hmm. um, where we're taking the words and we're transcribing them onto panels. Okay. Now, as you and transcribe them, are, are you doing this in kind of the handwriting that the people used or...? Well, I wish we could do that because, um, as you'll see in this broadcast, we're going to flash some of those. Mm -hmm. It has so much charm how people express themselves in the words, mm -hmm. but also in their own hand and the handwriting and the pictures and everything they draw. It's so charming, but unfortunately, given the limited amount of space, mm -hmm. I mean, this is going to be a 28-foot by 10-foot mural, mm -hmm. um, but the words have to be very large. Okay. Um, for it to be readable from the street and right, from the from car as you're mm -hmm. passing. So we really don't have a lot of relative space. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only 12 or maybe 17 phrases. So we, we don't have the physical space to actually transcribe the, the contributions that people wrote. Right, in their own handwriting. Yeah, but we are trying to emulate that look. Okay. Um, so I, you know, I laid out a design mm -hmm. uh, using computer type. Okay. And then traced over it with my own hand, writing it, so it has mm -hmm. a very fluid um, sort of gestural quality that emulates that feeling of people handwriting. So mm -hmm. in the end, it might look have a little bit of a graffiti feel, but you know, much neater. Right. Of course, socially sanctioned. You know, this project's <laughs> been socially approved, and you know, people want this in the community. So that's the public art piece that's mm -hmm. going to live in the community. It's a permanent installation. Wow. Um, that will hopefully be around for a long time. And it becomes a way for us to share our words with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, when you pass on the street, you'll see the words and you'll read them, and um, you'll think maybe, and you'll maybe you'll agree or disagree. It'll it'll get a thought process going. Right, it'll create uh, a dialogue between people. Exactly, that's the hope, and it'll get people hopefully to start thinking about well, what does matter. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really the purpose. Yeah. So, what was your what was the inspiration for this project? Well, um, really, this town that I live in, Peekskill, New mm -hmm. York. Um, you know, I came here to focus on my art, and I found myself looking out the window, and, um, you know, I live on South Street, right by the post office, and... Um, I wouldn't get too detailed about that. No. Okay. No, I'm only kidding. Well, I'm going to advertise in a little bit <laughs> to come and paint in my studio oh, okay. to paint the mural so everyone will know where I live. Okay. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's going to be public information anyways in a minute, so that's cool. Um, mm. But yeah, I would see the school kids spill out into the street mm -hmm. at 3 p.m. And I would see the seniors milling about because there's a senior complex across the street from me. Okay. And there's lots of seniors downtown. And I, you know, I would go to the corner deli and I would see the day laborers lined up. And I would just see all the different eclectic, diverse peoples that live in this amazing town. And I wondered, well, who are they? I would like to know them. 
So, and um, so this is one way for me to engage with them and, and mm -hmm. have a conversation. Um, and so, and I also felt a separation between the groups. And I don't think that, not really for prejudice reasons, but just how people tend to sort of cluster in, in like groups or mm -hmm. amongst people that they feel comfy with. And the same with artists. And I was getting to know a lot of artists, but I wanted to meet other people Mm -hmm. you know, that I lived amongst that were all my neighbors. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to also partake in the joy of art making the way that us artists do. Because I do feel that we are all artists and we all um, have a desire to create and express and communicate mm -hmm. with one another. And so I wanted to create an opportunity for really everyone to engage in that activity and not have it be, oh, this is sort of some sort of rarefied activity that only artists partake in. Right. Um, so that was really the inspiration. And then, you know, walking around downtown, I could see um, what a transformative effect public art had. Right. You know, when I first moved to the town, it was, it was fascinating to, you know, just to see, you know, the, the old architecture and just the different periods that sort of swept through the town. And you could see some, you know, empty storefronts. But I could see, like, adjacent to that, there might be, like, a sculpture or a mural, and that had a very profound effect, like it just just created like an uplifting feeling. And I felt very strongly there should be more public art right. um, in Peekskill. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to be part of making that happen. Well, uh, as, you, as you go around town, you'll see um, these kind of just seats or these little benches that have yeah. art, and I'm, and I'm not exactly sure who's responsible for them. I want to say Wilfredo Morel, um, <laughs> right, but that's he's probably behind not, so many. He's behind so many things, um, but he's more of a, a sculptor. Um, yeah, that's. But that, when I saw that, I was like, well, you know, I was just walking down the street with my niece one day, and she was like, how cool is that? Because it's like so. Um, yeah, exactly. It's so cool to have something like that on a, on a citywide basis. It's so true. The Hudson Valley Center for Contemporary Art, which mm -hmm. is a sponsor for the What Matters mural project. Mm -hmm. Is, is behind that project. It was a tile project right. where they created tiles leading from the Hudson River going up to the museum, mm -hmm. um, including all those benches that you see. And those were made with um, school kids from, you know, throughout the region. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so it's, it was the Hudson Valley Center for Contemporary Art. And yeah. so many people don't take advantage of having such a great museum so close to oh. all of us, you know, just the surrounding towns, even further down county. Um, that, I can't say enough about that place. I always go in there and I'm always yeah. just taken aback by the great installations they have. Yeah, they have really amazing installations, really, and the show that's up now, it's called Art at the Core, which is amazing. And kudos to um, Olivia Strauss, right? She's the director there. Yeah, she's the founder. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're really great about creating um, arts education programs mm -hmm. for the public. Um, right. I, like the, we were there at uh, the holiday fair last weekend in downtown right. and they had arts activities, making ornaments out of recycled materials and they also had the What Matters Project. Livy invited me to you know, put out some papers and pens and people came and they wrote the words. Mm -hmm. So What Matters has been um, you know, alive in the community in all different forms and different venues wherever we can find a place where people can engage. To get that, to write down you know, what matters to them. Exactly. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this? Um, it's been about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had the idea two years ago, and um, about a half a year in, um, you know, I reached out to Valerie Swan at the Youth Bureau, mm -hmm. and uh, we collaborated on an idea to take my What Matters idea um, to her um, Beak School Agencies Together organizations, mm -hmm. and um, they shared their words of What Matters from their organizations, and then we worked with um, 70 youths at the, at the uh, Youth Bureau to create um, sidewalk writing mm -hmm. of the words. And it was organizations like the Field Library and the Westchester Community College, um, the Girl Scouts, mm -hmm. et cetera. And um, it was an adventure trying to, you know, to work with 70 teenagers <laughs> over um, two well, days. E even younger than and, that, I mean, yeah. it is, it is uh, especially teenagers, I guess. Yeah, it was great. It was great fun. And it was a temporary installation that you know, was up for a few weeks, and then once the first rains came in, it started to, you know, wash away. So mm -hmm. that was the, the beginning of it. And then later that fall, um, somehow I was able to talk to Livia about this idea, and she suggested that I submit my proposal about what matters to the curators for the Peekskill Project, mm -hmm. which was the year-long uh, public art event that goes on in Peekskill, mm -hmm. um, which just ended last fall. Right, I think um, it was, um, or I saw some of it during Open Studios. 
Yeah, yeah, and there's still remnants of it um, carrying over. And the idea behind it is to bring art out of the museum onto the street and to mm -hmm. use the city as a stage. And so they really promoted public art. Mm -hmm. You know, it was performance art, you know, which my project sort of fell into that category. It was sculpture, it was, you know, all, every kind of art. Mm -hmm. And they also had a great exhibition in the museum that went with that. Um, so um, I got invited to be part of the Peekskill Project mm -hmm. and we were at um, the gazebo the opening weekend in the summer. Mm -hmm. It was more of the fall. And um, you know, it was the center of town and all kinds of people came. It was the mayor, it was kids, it was, you know, you know, the Latino mothers and their, their kids. Um, and we were also at that same weekend we were at the museum in their parking lot. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was kind of more of a high art crowd there too. So it was like a real, you know, mix of people literally from different walks of life. Right. Um, so I mean, that's kind of the whole definition of peak skill for the most part. If you know people from other towns come come over here, um, you can yeah. totally see what you saw. What you know, looking out your window. So yeah, exactly. What, what's love that, been like the most profound thing that you come to learn from what people have written? Oh wow. The most profound thing. It's hard to give one answer because each person shared something really beautiful and unique and meaningful. Um, I I feel like there's so many lessons there. I can't pinpoint one thing. You it's know, it's of, been it's such kind a of phenomenal. It's kind of an intriguing question. You know, it's like, yeah. well, what really matters to you? I mean, is it something on a temporary basis, or is is, is it uh, something larger, like someone who has to take care of a family and you know, certainly what would matter to me would be different than someone that's got like five kids and, you know, have just arrived here from a different country or something. Right, it's so true. So is it something uh, economic? Um, was it something more, you know, philosophical for the most part? Oh, you mean in terms of the responses? Right. Um, it was extremely divergent. You know, someone <laughs> might write, you know, I want a, a pair jo of, jo I want a job, coat. you know, yeah. or, you know, mm -hmm you know, money. I mean, that was actually very rare. Most people did, like, focus on, like, a higher spiritual values. It just naturally um, happened that way? Yeah, I feel that, and a lot of my friends participated in, you know, like, like I might know a friend that might be very neurotic and, you know, worried all the time, but then when I asked them to do this exercise, they would write the most amazing things, you know, your aspirations or your possibilities. Mm -hmm. Sing the song of your heart. You know, like, I feel like this, this activity it brings out, um, not to sound new agey, but it brings out like one's higher self, like this sort of need to like express one's best thoughts and beliefs be beyond the nitty gritty. Or beyond you know, the temporal, um, like, you know, the little things that we need to get by on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, right. Because, but, yeah. I mean, if you really ask someone what really matters to them, I mean, I'm sure they can, um, it'll give them pause because it is like what would make you happy? What would make your life better? Right, yeah. And it's not something, it's not like a flip answer that you can you know, give to that. Right, right, it's so true. Yeah, and it's true people you know, respond very much based on you know, their personal situation. It might change from day to day, you know? Mm -hmm. But then at right. the same time, a lot of universal themes came out, you know, mm -hmm. like the ideas of family, friends, love, peace. Um, you know, really beautiful ideas, but each person expressed it totally different and in mm -hmm. a different hand and wow. with slightly different words. And, you know, I live with these words and we've been having these live interactive events, right, where we pin up the words and I'm constantly interacting with them and so I'm constantly reading them and it's, it's always inspiring me, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it's wonderful to be in that world of what matters, you know, <laughs> I get to live in that world. You right, know, it must be, um, um, yeah, it, it's cool just to be in people's thoughts like that. Why don't you describe yeah. for our audience like what one of these events might be like? You, you were at the, uh, Fred's Food Pantry. Yeah, oh, I love the pantry. I mean, that really hit home the purpose of the project, you know, reaching out to all people, mm -hmm. you know. And, I mean, you know, if you go to Fred's Pantry, you go because you have a need for food. You don't go because you, you know, you're trying to get free food. Like, you go because you really need it. Mm -hmm. And That's any right. one of us are just you know, a hairline away from having to do that, you That's know, an illness, an injury, loss of a job, mm -hmm. anything, you yes, know. You are so right. And I just felt so connected to the people there. Um, and it was extremely diverse. You know, it must have been over 100 people in the room. And we, uh, I went in there with Annabelle Gonzalez, who's mm -hmm. a, you know, Spanish speaking, she's from Peru. And 
you know, we shared with them what the project was and in English and Spanish. And I can't tell you like overwhelming gratitude from people. Like people actually wrote us like thank you notes on their words of what matters. Like thank you for sharing, you know, for wanting to know our feelings. Wow. Um, but it was, it was kids, it was Latino day laborers, it was seniors, it was the families. It was a very profound experience for me. And um, if you go to our, our official website, you can see some of the words that they shared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I was so happy that day. I mean, I, I mean, the, I felt like the purpose of the project was being fulfilled in those moments I was there. Well, um, do you realize that the words of these people and what you're doing will probably last longer than you'll be alive? I mean, it'll be there forever. I mean, barring some ha something happening to the side of the building um, at Los, Los Andes Bakery, right? Right. Yeah, I hope so, it will I mean, live on. What does that feel like to create something that is going to be a part of everybody's life for many, many years to come? It feels really good, you know. It feels really, really good to be able to share something beautiful with the community. And for it to last, wow, you know, if it can last, that's amazing. And maybe that's why I suggested doing the mural, because the project is, um, it is very... It is about a moment in time when you're thinking what matters and you're writing the words and then that moment comes and it passes and that's very much the experience I wanted to create but the mural allows it to be a physical object that will survive and um, it, it's, it just makes me feel really good to know that a lot of people are going to see this. I mean over many years it will be hundreds, right. maybe thousands it will have some sort of effect on our consciousness. Absolutely, there'll um, be young kids that realize that they participated in this and they will you know, come back years later maybe with their families and say, you know, I did this when I was five years old, this is what I wrote. Yeah, yeah, that would be amazing, exactly. So how, how does one participate? Like let's say beyond trying okay. to, you organizing an event and they're coming and writing down what matters to them, what's some of the nuts and bolts of getting this thing on the wall? The nuts and bolts of getting it on the wall. Right. I mean, because I mean, you, we talked a little, pro you know, prior to the taping or about, you know, participating that you're, what's the process? Of taking the words and getting right. it into the mural. Yeah. Well, it was, it was challenging because there were so many, you know, words that people shared. It was hundreds, mm -hmm. you know, several hundred, and we had to select from that, you know, vast array and solidify some of the key themes and pick out some of the most compelling phrases as well. So not everybody's um, what matters is going to be included in the mural. Y yeah, not no, okay, you know, just if some. there were, you know, I didn't just not enough room. You know, it didn't even occur to me that you won't have enough room for every everyone's right. response. We don't have enough room, right? Perhaps in a <laughs> book. Yeah, there's many forms. Yeah, maybe you could yeah. put all of every, you know, everyone's stuff in a book. Exactly. But I mean, I guess you know, theoretically you don't have to stop collecting them. Yeah, you can no, continue. This, exactly. This project can live on way beyond the completion of the mural and it you know, we already designed the, the mural a while back. You know, we had to get approval from the city council mm -hmm. back in October. So we already solidified the words, but we've been having many ongoing interactive events since then. Mm -hmm. um, so it does live on. Um, and we're going to be sharing the words in a documentary film that's being made where we can share many more of the words. Oh, terrific. Yeah, and the documentary will cover, you know, the live events. It will cover the making of the mural. So it'll be you know, an opportunity to see how, it go, how a public art project starts from a germ of an idea all the way through to a completed mural. Um, so so that's a way to share them. Who's doing the documentary for you? Uh, a filmmaker named uh, Larry Horowitz. He was a, um, a you know, professional uh, f uh, TV commercial editor, actually. Mm -hmm. The name it, sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, he has a company it's called Long Story Short, mm -hmm. and he specializes in um, telling people's personal stories. Um, he will record your story, you know, on film and edit it. Mm -hmm. um, he's a great storyteller. So he was really drawn to this project. He came to my fundraiser, um, the magic, the uh, magic of Margaret Steele, mm -hmm. and um, you know, he came up to me afterwards and said, "Well, is someone, you know, documenting this?" And I was like, "No, we, you know, we'd love for you to do that." And mm -hmm. so he came on board, and he's been filming and. Um, because he offered to do this, it encouraged me to um, actually seek out a lot of the people that wrote words and interview them. Mm -hmm. And it became a way for us to know even more deeply the ideas behind the words. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just a phrase, but it was like, well, who said this, you mm -hmm. know? And what's their background? What's their point of view? And why did they write what they write, wrote? Mm -hmm. And um, 
maybe follow that person over maybe a year's time and see you know where they're at in their lives <laughs> right that's I mean, great that's a whole other I mean, documentary that's a whole other yeah. documentary like looking <laughs> that's for another man right <laughs> that's, that's a great idea to, but yeah, that's so how, how much time do we have yeah but we did interview so far um maybe over 25 26 people again from all walks of life including mm -hmm. um you know the last mayor and the incoming mayor mm -hmm. to you know kids and seniors and day laborers we mm -hmm. had a, one guy from ecuador and one guy from mexico and um it's very profound to hear their stories. So the words are being shared in different ways. You mm -hmm. know, we're also, we also have a website where we showcase a lot of the events and the words mm -hmm. that people share. Mm -hmm. um, and there'll be new ways. You'll be seeing what matters all over Peekskill in different forms. And so, hopefully beyond Peekskill too, yeah. Of course, you know, like as an um, artist, let's say I wanted to help you, or I wanted to, you know, get some of these, transcribe some of the words. Um, how would I get in touch with you, or how you know what's that process like? Because I'm sure there's some artists that maybe have reached out to you, or oh well, yeah. I'm I mean, still they a little vague about how it's actually happening because you're saying a lot of it is happening in your studio. Uh, well, the the painting of the mural is happening in my studio. Okay, um, and that's so, on. Yeah, we're going to be creating, you know, a 28 foot by 10 foot mural. It's mm -hmm. going to go on the side of the Los Andes Bakery building at 1049. How are you getting it Main on the building? Street. We're painting the uh, mural on panels in my studio downtown, okay. Okay. and they're going to be um, they're actually they're erected on all the window sills right now, and people are going to come Ew. and paint. Mm -hmm. uh, the design's already you know pre-designed and mm -hmm. transferred to the panels, and people simply come in and fill in the letters. Um, so, what type so, of material are these panels? Um, it's a aluminum composite material. It's very lightweight, mm -hmm. and it's used for signs. Okay. Um, so traditionally, you're using just acrylic paint on this. We're using very high quality acrylic paint that mm -hmm. was donated by Golden Artist Colors. It's um, it's no, been known to withstand time, you know, for oh, public good. art. Oh, yeah, good, exactly. Yeah. When did that stink? Right at, over time, you like all you see is just the panels and not the words on there. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, Larry D'Amico and Stone mm -hmm. Tower, they're well known muralists in Peekskill, and they recommended Golden. Oh, awesome. So I contacted them, and they were good enough to donate the paint. So yeah, in my studio is where we're going to create mm -hmm. the, this em enormous physical object. <laughs> and, you know, is there enough room? I mean, I guess you'll have to store it somewhere, because you can't have, I mean, I don't know how big your studio is, but. Well, fortunately, it, it just fits. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's amazing. You know, it makes me feel like justified in having this huge space for projects like this. Oh, wow. And somehow, um, all six of the seven panels fit on the windowsills. And they're all screwed into the wall, so people can very, hopefully, very comfortably come and paint. You know, mm -hmm. tall people can reach the higher letters, and you know, shorter people like me or kids can reach the <laughs> lower level letters. Um, and it'll be very easy. You know, like I said, it's all like pre-designed, and people just go and fill in. I'll give them the colors, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it's a, it's an activity for everyone. You know, the whole we'll public have to come is welcome. Help. Oh. Please do. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bring we'll have family, to make arrangements to do that. Yeah, please. So people want to come, um, they can call me, at, you know, 914-737-1141, mm -hmm. or they can email me at um, art at lanau.net. Okay. And just RSVP, let me know you're coming. We're going to be painting from pretty much now mm -hmm. to December 27th. Okay. Um, and, you know, hours are flexible. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be any time. It can be the morning, evening, afternoon. Um, and then on the 29th, which is a Sunday, from 2 to 4, we're going to have an open house. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a celebration um, to celebrate the completion of the mural, and everyone can see each other's handiwork. It's so, going to be cool. Yeah. So what's like the next event you can let everybody know about in case they wanted to come and check you out? Well, the next big event, I mean, there's, there's lots of simultaneous mm -hmm. events going on right now in mm -hmm. Peekskill for What Matters. Um, you know, there's a live painting activity at my loft mm -hmm. where they can also write the words and pin them up. We have like a mini installation inside my loft as well. Mm -hmm. And they could read the amazing things that other people wrote. Those will also be up. Um, currently, um, every weekend at the Hat Factory in December, mm -hmm. there's an art show, the Peekskill Arts Alliance art show. It's all local artists. Okay. And it's all a mix of different things, you know, from ornaments to paintings to cards. Um, we have an installation, a What Matters installation in the lobby area. Mm -hmm. People can come and write the words and pin them up. Mm -hmm. um, and the proceeds of any sales of art, my own sa you know, art sales, will go towards the project. So I'm selling posters mm -hmm. um, as well as fine art okay. um, since we're still actively fundraising. So what's so your website again? Because we're, we're running out of time. Oh, okay. The website is uh, lanau.net. It's www. 
www.lanau.net. So people can um, go there and then follow the links to the What Matters website. Okay, and we just have one um, more question for okay. you. Okay. What matters to you? Oh, e everything. In about 30 seconds. <laughs> everything and everyone matters, yeah. Really? Well, yes. If you had to write something down something, that was, that's what you'd write? So did you uh, one fill of out one of those things? things? I have written so many things. It's been almost like a diary for me. In so the last you've been year doing it continually? I've been writing different things at different times. I guess, yeah. You'll have to catch up with her at you know, the studio okay. to get okay. the information. Okay. Well, I just want to thank you for coming on the show. I think this is an awesome project. I can't wait to see it completed. I'm going to go by thank the studio you. and I'll help. And maybe, you know, we'll get what matters to me on there or some, you know, some of the crew here. Um, yeah. Thank you know, you. congratulations. This is awesome. This is Thank an awesome you. idea, and I think it's going to be wonderful for the city. Thank you. So to our living arts people out there, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this show. Uh, definitely check out what Lana's doing. It's, it's going to be um, it's breathtaking. Um, and, see, you know, definitely come to the town and see the permanent installation. Uh, we want to thank you for tuning in. Like us on Facebook. Go check out the website. And as always, tune in next time. Peace. You know, there are people from all walks of life here, and um, that's very important to me. What matters? Patience and forgiveness. Connecting with another person on a spiritual level. He is my heart, para uno, para tener su familia bien contenta. The well-being of the peoples of the world. I came up with this idea uh, really as a desire to create public art that would break down barriers of separateness in our community. seek in life is only peace within. We had tables set up and people came and they wrote the words. It took them out of their busy day to stop and think, well, what does matter to me? It is important to me that people feel respected by me. There were seniors, you know, there were day laborers, there were families, there were kids, young mothers, professionals and artists. You know, maybe they'll agree or disagree, and it will start a dialogue. We're currently raising funds to pay for the cost of creating the mural. To actually create the mural, we need to pay a contractor to erect it. We need to pay for aluminum panels. We've been awarded a grant from Arts Westchester, and part of the deal is to complete the mural by the end of the year. So the goal is to paint the mural here in the studio. We're going to have panels laid out running the length of the entire room. It's going to be a 28-foot mural and 10 feet wide. The whole community is invited, and we can paint together. It's, you know, again, all walks of life, all experience levels, kids, seniors, whoever. Um, no experience necessary. Everyone is welcome to come. two hearts and they couldn't have one heart without the other.